think that works. That actually looks pretty good. My name is Sheila. Welcome to my channel. So it always takes me a moment to like <laughs> get into the mood of doing a video like I should practice and then this is like a practice run. I'm gonna start over and I'm gonna be ready in just a second. All right. So take a couple run throughs to get this right. So hi my name is Sheila. Welcome to my channel. Um, a lot of times we think that we have to go all out to improve our fitness and I know even some of my friends are sometimes like Sheila I'm just not going on an eight mile run well guess what you really don't have to do that in order to maintain or increase your level of fitness so let's talk about what you can do to sort of do things a little bit better Yes, I've run like three half marathons. I used to do 5Ks way back when. Back when six miles was enough, that was good. Now it's eight and it just keeps moving up because I keep pushing myself. And one of the things that we have to ask ourselves is what exactly are we willing to do to get the desired results that we want? But you do not you do not have to go run eight and nine miles in order to increase your fitness. I have been following and keeping a record of my step count for a while now. And I really wanna use this video to sort of talk about how I've increased that, how I've been looking at that more than anything in terms of trying to make sure I'm moving all day and using the number of steps as a goal for me. All right, so let's take a look at some of my data. Here is the data for the months in 2020, starting with January, February, March, April, May, June, and July. So you can definitely see there how I've been uh, more focused on definitely keeping my phone on me so that I can accurately track my steps. But of course, July is not the same every day. You can see that one day where I probably did not have my phone on me, but you can see it definitely varies. On this morning's walk run, cause it was a little bit of both. I didn't want to run cause I've been running so much. On this morning's walk, you know, I was all down near 9th Street, Broad Street, over near um, the wall at Duke University. So I walk all in that area. That's also part of my running route. And still that wound up being like five miles and it took a while, but it was not nearly as stressful as trying to fit in an eight or nine mile run. And you don't really have to do that. As you know, they typically sort of say in order to maintain your um, health, 10,000 steps a day is good. If 10,000 steps is maintenance, then that means if you wanna have some sort of improvement, then you probably need to do more than that. And you know, you sort of want to think as 10 as your baseline. And even if you don't hit it one day, you can do a little bit more the next day. And so for you, it comes down to saying, okay, well, 10 is my minimum, but I want to do a little bit more than that this month. Or, you know, I want to increase it each month by X percent. And one of the ways that I've been monitoring mine is with my cell phone. Like it's easy, I have it on me most of the time. Typically when it falls off is when um, I'm sitting around at home and I'm doing work and I am not moving for a while. And one of the things I'd really like to do would be to remind myself to do like a tickler, to like maybe have a timer, set my phone timer first thing in the morning so that I know to like get up at 10, get up at 12, get up at two, get up at four, and at least get like 10 minutes in on my treadmill or just walk down to the end of the block and come back or just get up and do just some movement around the house just to sort of keep those steps and that movement in so that I know that that's one of the things that I want to do. So if you have a cell phone, then that's an easy way to sort of track that. You don't have to go out and get a pedometer. 
I have an iPhone. So for all of you people that have Samsung Galaxies or something else, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know if they have that little app up there, um, but mine already has an app um, on the phone. So I don't have to do anything extra. And that is the thing about it. You always want to keep everything as friction free as possible because then you're more likely to do it if i gotta go buy a new piece of equipment and then i gotta learn how to use it or it's an app and i gotta download it and i gotta find space and then i gotta remember to turn the thing on every single time i'm not going to want to do it so by using my cell phone it's already doing it i just have to remember to have it on me which you know a lot of people have theirs on them all the time they take them in the bathroom i'm not really that person but hey whatever works for you i'll put on what i have on and um put my phone in my back pocket a lot of times and that is a way that will help me um you know at least catch some of those steps in so you can set monthly goals you can set weekly goals you can set daily goals and you know as you just sort of looked at some of mine you can see mine's all over the place sometimes and one of the things that has me really concerned right now with COVID is making sure that I'm not going to have some sort of overuse injury. Like I'm really concerned about that. And I can't get into the gym to get on an elliptical or anything. So basically I'm just walking and running every day and I need to come up with something else to do that I can do that is COVID friendly. COVID friendly exercises, yeah. But um, definitely use that as an option to sort of say, here's what I'm going to do and um, here's how I'm going to improve and I'm going to use keeping up with my steps as a way to do that. So hope you like this video, hope you got something out of it. If you are um, watching your steps and keeping track of your steps, let me know in the description, below, in the comments below. I always say the description. I'm in the description, you guys are in the comments. Let me know in the comments below what's working for you, what's not working for you, what you're trying to achieve with that. And don't forget to subscribe and let's like stick, let's stick together with this. Um, Cause like I said, you know, COVID's really tough for us right now and we need to be here for each other. So I'm here for you, peace out.